Now we're going to play tug. She's enjoying this game quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better to encourage them to grab the bumper and then tug. Oh, good girl. Good girl. My name is Ethan with Standing Stone Kennels, and we're back here with Quest. So today is going to be a short and simple session. We're going to do a progress report, everything that we've worked on so far with her. This is going to include her clicker training. It's also going to include where we've started some collar conditioning. We're going to work on some retrieves and then move right into um, trimming her nails, which she needs pretty bad. We've kind of waited just to be able to show some progress on that. But to get started, we're going to do some clicker training work with her. So she knows a couple different things. She knows how to sit. Good. Good. She knows targeting. Good girl. We're using variable reinforcement now. If you noticed, I didn't give her a treat on the first time that she targeted. Um, she has been doing this a lot, and we will probably move into teaching her to lay down on cue, but we haven't been working on that at all. Good, and I just mentioned this, but I wanna to touch on it. Variable reinforcement is a very important part of positive reinforcement training. It's the um, not giving her a reward every single time she does it. She hears the click, she knows that that means that what she did was correct, but we need to introduce this variable reinforcement and use it so that you don't develop a dog that expects the, the cookie or the reward every single time they do things right. We wanna be able to build on that as well. So to begin with, we may ask for two or three things. And then as we go on, we can move that into three or four or five or six. Um, kind of play that out to find out where you lose your dog's interest and then try and stay under that number. This is gonna allow us, because we get this question a lot. My dog only responds when I have the clicker and the treats out and everything. How do we work past that? Variable reinforcement is the way to do that. Teaching them that there is a reward coming, but it doesn't always mean every single time they do something, they're gonna be rewarded. <whistles> Kennel? Good girl. So she's showing a pretty good understanding. Sit. Good. Kennel? One more time. Good. Sit. Sit. Good girl. She got to do five, six, seven. I, didn't, I lost count a little bit myself, but multiple different things um, and got one reward at the end. If we had lost her focus anywhere in that point, uh, that's when we would need to be rewarding more often. So this is all going really well. We're gonna eliminate that distraction. I'm gonna show you a little bit of collar work and then do some retrieving. Good girl. Again, we wanna fit this collar fairly snug up in the smallest part of her neck. Tuck this strap up out of the way so it's not distracting. Good, we're gonna do a couple warm-ups here. We've got a lot of focus because she knows we're in a training session, vibrating, she comes and touches my hand, that collar shuts off. Again, vibrating, good girl. Now we're gonna play tug. She's enjoying this game quite a bit, yeah. She kind of likes to grab the rope on the bumper, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Some puppies will do that more, some puppies will like to grab the bumper part. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better to encourage them to grab the bumper and then tug. Oh, good girl, good girl, good girl. Now we're gonna do a retrieve. Good, good. Atta girl, as soon as she's grabbing that bumper, we hit vibrate. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> a distraction. Good, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. <laughs> Playing this game with her is gonna help it to be, this part of the retrieve to be fun and help to encourage her to bring it back to us more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, when we're ready to take it, I just open her mouth, take the bumper away. 
We don't have a drop or a give. We want to encourage her to retrieve the hand. Good. Hi, 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 hi. All right, so that's the second time. We need to recognize patterns in our training sessions and figure out how to avoid them. So she has gone twice, V-lined. She wants to jump up on the couch at our house. We allow the dogs on the furniture, so um, most of the time. So this is something that she's been allowed up on the couch to cuddle, and she knows how to take her toys up and lay down and chew. So um, we're going to recognize that that's a pattern here and avoid it. I'm gonna put myself between where she wants to go. We'll do another retrieve. Good girl. So she wanted to come right through here, running that collar again. Yeah, and we can intercept. Good girl, and play tug. Yeah, yeah. When we're ready for the bumper, we can swing her in here. This is starting to build, um, bringing the retrieves back to heel. Good girl. Let her hold it for a second, and then we can take it. Yeah, we want to end this game with excitement still. She's pumped about chasing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can put it away. You can see she's still focused, excited, concentrated, so that every time we bring this bumper out, we can expect that she's gonna be pumped and ready to play. We don't want to play the game until she quits. We hear that a lot too. Well, I did retrieves until she was done. Well, then she's learning that she can start and end the game, basically, and when she's done or bored with it, she didn't have to play anymore. And we would like for her to retrieve until the, we are done retrieving. Last thing we're gonna do today is work on trimming her nails. I'm gonna go ahead and take this collar off. Now I've got two things with me. Our nail trimmer and a Dremel. Come here, sweetie. Her nails have gotten a little bit longer. Oh, gotcha. And we're going to start this by allowing her to relax a little bit. Tuck her up here. Love on her. She's trying to mouth on my hand a little bit. We don't want that. That's not something we want to encourage. So not really getting after her. Just said stop. You know, knock that off. No. Once she seems like she's kind of chilled out, she's not trying to actively escape. We're gonna start trimming these nails. We're just gonna take a little bit off here. And we're gonna take the grinder to these when we get done. She starts getting a little bit anxious. We just stop here, wait a second. Try not to let go of their paws. If they try and pull them, give into that so that it's closer to them but hold on to their paw. It's gonna help them prevent that they think they can pull and get away from you. Good, Good girl. Do the back ones here. Uh, 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 uh. She really is a pretty good cuddler. And if she doesn't think she's getting the immediate direct attention, like when we're doing those front ones, she tries to do a little bit more escaping. For the most part, she's pretty manageable. I'm using my legs to squish her body, hold her here a little bit. Not crushing her, no, no leg holds, people. Come on now. All right, all of them are trimmed. Now we're gonna bring her up here. These Dremels are a really, really cool tool. They've got, uh, Dremel makes a specific one for pets. I wouldn't go buy the, the Dremel tool that's used to grind wood and everything else. Um, they're typically a little too powerful. This has got a low setting and a high setting. This will be the first time we've actually Dremeled her nails, so you get to see her reaction to this. Um, it spins one way, spinning this way. And if we, put, if we put her nails up to it with it spinning this way, it helps not catch and bind. It makes the process smoother. Now, we don't want to just grind and grind and grind on their nails because that friction is going to get uh, warm on their nails and uncomfortable. So we'll take it here and we'll just touch it just a little bit. 
Yeah. She said that's a little weird. She's taking some of those sharp edges off. Settle down. Getting a little squirming. Not as sure about this process. Helping her to get used to. No. Mm -mm. Get used to the Dremel a little bit. I'll go a little more here. Dremels are going to be really important. Stop, please. If your dog's nails get a little bit longer, because they will act much like the process of digging, um, which will help wear those, help those quicks to recede and their nails to be shorter all the way around. Shorter nails are important because they're less likely to break while your dog, your working dogs are out in the field playing or hunting. Stop. Good girl. Just barely touching. Each nail. And this is definitely something you can see we'll need to work a little bit more on. As she gets comfortable, this whole process will go a little faster. We've got a little sneak attack move from the rear. But again, I'm holding the Dremel in one hand, holding the paw in the other hand, just touching. Definitely not as big a fan of the Dremel as she was just getting her nails trimmed. So we want to make this process pretty easy on her. Stop. Meaning that we can do a lot more shaping and a lot more grinding than what I'm doing right now. Um, this is going to be more of an introduction to the grinder for her. Just touching the nails so that we can do more down the road. Stop. Again, each time she's squirming, we're helping to reset her. Making sure that's a good girl. Yeah. There was no movement, no squirming on that one, so we'll give her a little more praise. We'll go back to the front ones. Just touch them. Good girl. Helping her to get more comfortable with this. She says, I'm done, Dad. Done. So, all of them have been clipped. All of them have been ground. Now we'll give her just a little bit of time to relax here. And that concludes our progress report for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.